Now you boys already know how I love my clothing hacks and I love sharing that information so you boys can look good using your brain. So today we're gonna solve eight clothing issues most guys have using these tricks that you can now use to always look on point. Let's hop into it. Number one, zippers. Zippers are kind of an annoying thing. Either A, you have to tug a war with them until you can zip them up or down, or B, you have some loose, cheap zipper that keeps unzipping down and your fly is all open. Well, for the first problem, there's actually an easy trick you can do and it's grabbing some Vaseline and lubing up the whole track system, or you can even do that with graphite as well. What you're gonna notice, that zipper is now gonna glide. Yeah! For the second situation, if your fly is always coming down, then grab a key ring, put it through through the zipper and then once you reach the top, hang the keyring on the button. Then button your pants and I can guarantee you that zipper, it's not going anywhere. Number two, the muffin top. I hate that thing. Most guys simply just stuff their shirt into their pants and literally within one hour, your shirt will look like this. If you're dressing classy or dressing up or your first date, whatever it is, to the point that you're tucking in your shirt, the only and right way to do it you need to wear some sort of shirt stay. Shirt stays have been around for decades. Guys have been using it because they actually work. What a shirt stay does is it literally anchors down your shirt to your sock. And with these from our sponsor KKJ, even if you're not wearing socks, there's shirt stays that actually anchor down to below your calf so you can even wear them more casually, especially now for summer if you're trying to go for that no sock look. Uh, the point is that a shirt stay will literally anchor down your shirt to the point that you can do any sort of movement you want. Stretch up, reach out, sit down, and that shirt's always gonna look perfect, which is what you want. Because when you're having a sharp outfit, your goal is for your image to look streamlined all day. And with shirt stays, that's what you get. These particular ones from KK and J are made here in the USA with high quality materials and high quality metals. So you can assure that you only need to buy one pair and that'll be more than enough so you can use it the rest of your life to make sure that you're always on point. Like I previously stated though, they do have the other option of shirt stays that you can use it without actually having to wear dress socks. And honestly, I would recommend that one as well if you wanna buy both in case you're ready for either scenario. But the point is, don't be the guy that just stuffs in his shirt and then walks out. That's why you're always constantly dealing with that problem of the muffin top that's probably driving you insane. Invest in these bad boys. They're gonna be linked down below with the code that makes them super affordable. It's a secret weapon every guy should have. Number three. I know every guy can relate to this one. You know how sometimes you're wearing shorts or jeans and all of a sudden it looks like Woody's ready to go? Yeah, you're chill as hell hanging with a group of guys and eating some ice cream. Your clothing is betraying you, making everybody else think that you're turned on, but is your pants are scrunching up. It happens all the time. This usually happens to a lot of guys and I know you're probably self-conscious about it. So the problem why this happens is because of that excess fabric. Usually this means that the pants or shorts that you're wearing are too big from the waist and don't fit you properly and probably you'll need to size down. What happens is that when you buy pants that are bigger than your waist and then you grab a belt and cinch it up, as soon as you sit down, that excess fabric just scrunches down and when you stand up, well, it looks like you just erected your monument. So when you buy pants or shorts, make sure they fit from the waist. Number four, it's all about how to make clothing last longer. Obviously, as you know, clothing has a tendency to deteriorate over time, wearing out the more you wash it. So to avoid this damage, every time you wash something that you want to preserve, like a graphic t-shirt or your raw denim jeans or whatever it is, you wanna keep it as new as possible, turn it inside out. This will be more gentle on the side of the fabric that people actually see to preserve it for the long run and give it a deeper clean to the interior part of the fabric, which is what's actually against your skin and gets all the sweat and the stench. Number five, this trick is all about how to find a good tailor. Because every stylish man needs to have a good tailor that can make their clothing fit perfectly onto them. The hard part is that, finding a good tailor. So the trick is, wherever you are, hop on Google and look for local tailors in your area and pick three to four with the best ratings. Then go to each one and give them the same task. Like you could take a pair of pants and ask for a hem and a taper, something simple. From there you can inspect craftsmanship and see which one gave you the best results and the most precise fits. Number six, when you wear dressers that are a little bit too tight, a lot of times you end up with exposed skin because the buttons start pulling and any type of movement, it almost looks awkward. 
But there's a cheap fix. Just go to your 99 cent store and buy double sided tape. It's gonna be the best dollar you're ever spending anytime you wear this shirt. Just place it in the buttons that always tend to pull. After that, you can move all you want without having your skin awkwardly popping out. Number seven, having a whimsy wrinkled collar. There's nothing worse to have a casual shirt with a collar that's all wrinkled up and just looks cheap. Something that not even shirt stays can fix. If this is the case, go to your girl's bathroom and steal her flat iron. Grab it, turn it on to high heat, and iron that collar out for that razor straight look. And here's a little bonus pro tip, also do the upper part of your shirt's placket. This way you can get a nice erect, clean collar that makes your shirt look a little bit more expensive. And finally, number eight, it's all about storing your pants. So if you've ever stored your trousers or your chinos or your denim on hangers, you probably know this. You work so hard to organize your closet and after a few days, the pants are falling down all the time. They just slide off. Easy hack, use this fold. Essentially what you do is turn the pants upside down and using the legs, you're gonna interlock them on the hanger. That way, it doesn't matter how much you look through your closet and move clothing around, those pants, they're not sliding down. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Those are eight clothing tricks that you probably didn't know of. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. That's it for me in today's video. See you next time.